Zelda franchise has had some highly innovative and influential games throughout its 25-year legacy, Ocarina of Time has always been my personal favorite. Debuting over a decade ago, Ocarina is truly a remarkable game, a benchmark in the series that perfectly blends artistic vision, tight game design, and one amazing soundtrack. It has a special place in many gamers' hearts and was also the first perfect 10 that IGN ever handed out. Understandably, updating this game was a tricky task. How does one make this game more accessible for a new audience without treading on the memories of its fans? Both developers, Nintendo and Grezzo, should be commended. Ocarina of Time 3D does exactly just that. Despite a few nitpicks here and there, the end product is a spectacular success. A respectful upgrade that's undeniably the best game currently available on the 3DS. <laughs> While there are a number of upgrades in Ocarina 3D, the biggest boost is seen in its graphics. This is not just a simple port. Virtually everything has been redone from scratch. While the locations and dungeon layouts are the same, textures, character models, and animations have been significantly improved. Grezzo's goal was to make the graphics match the original concept art for Ocarina of Time. Undoubtedly, they could have monkeyed with the graphics until they looked like Twilight Princess, but that would not be true to the spirit of the original game. This is how Ocarina was intended to look and it looks fantastic. My one problem with the graphics has to do with some dated architecture around the world. Some things are preserved a little too well. There are still blocky looking hills and flat stairs that stick out in this day and age. As much as I love the original game, I wouldn't have minded a few more adjustments here and there. Those of you used to playing the 3DS with the 3D turned off, you may want to reconsider that tactic for this game. I know, I know, the battery goes faster. But the 3D effect in Ocarina adds a great sense of depth and is definitely one of the best examples of 3D on the system. With that said, I did play much of the game with the 3D turned off because it doesn't play well with the gyroscope functionality. More on that later. Gameplay in Ocarina of Time is identical to what it was so many years ago. Big shock, right? The world is in jeopardy once again, and the hero of time must embark on an epic journey. Along the way, you'll solve some ingenious temple puzzles, help a ton of characters, and fight some fantastic bosses. The gameplay is as solid as ever. Ocarina's breakthrough lock-on targeting system still makes combat fast and fun, and there's a lot to explore and discover in Ocarina's expansive world. It's some of the best gameplay ever created, and it largely translates over well to the 3DS. I say largely because the 3DS has a different button layout than the original N64's controller. Those of you who played the original adventure know how perfect that control scheme was. This time, Link only has two physical buttons for item assignment, plus a couple touchpad-based ones. It's a fine arrangement, but there is definitely some awkwardness in the layout. Likewise, trying to use the pad to go into first-person mode or answer Navi's incessant whining can be a little less than ideal. <laughs> The game also gives you the option to use the system's gyroscope to aim the camera around. It's pretty intuitive to use, but it has the problem that I mentioned before. Using it forces you to move your system around, which will disrupt the 3D effect if you don't keep your system precisely level with your eyes. Of course, you don't have to use the gyroscope, and you don't have to use 3D. Turning off the effect, I barely had any problems and thought the gyroscope aiming worked well. In terms of additional content, Ocarina 3D includes the tougher Master Quest version of the game and a new gauntlet mode where you can fight bosses over and over for better times. Master Quest in particular is a great addition for those who haven't played it before. It changes the game just enough for it to feel like a fresh experience, even if you're an Ocarina veteran. <laughs> Ocarina of Time 3D is the definitive version of one of my favorite games of all time. Although I feel like the developers could have done a little more in updating certain aspects of the game, I appreciate their reverence to the original source material. It's a fitting homage to a landmark classic. And for fans who have never played Ocarina before, your choice is even more clear. Pick this game up. It's truly deserving of its legacy. For more on Ocarina of Time 3D, head over to IGN.com.